now we have our color and our basic blocking we can start to think about adding some light um, I'm thinking about the the light is coming from the left hand side um, this is the way that I've been working so this green is on the left hand side of the rocks and we don't have so much color on the on the right hand side of those those rocks in the uh, in the middle so um, yeah our light source is going to be coming from um, a left hand side so first of all I'm going to select the the river layer and the glow brush now what I want to do is add the uh, the impression that the light is hitting the um, the top of this river so just brushing over this gently with the uh, with the glow brush and when I deselect it you'll see you'll see what it's done deselect the uh, the layer there and now we have this uh, bright area in the uh, in the distance that's that's also created um, a lot more distance because there's now a variation between the uh, foreground of this river and the uh, and the background so I'm going to create a new layer and select the the shadow map um, we're going to select a very light uh, blue on the color wheel because if you go too dark with the um, the shadow map, it's it's literally going to come out completely black. So we want to be way, way, way up in those uh, light areas on the color picker, and it, it's it's always going to come out dark because it's uh, replicating. A shadow and again we've got a, a blue color selected generally uh, shadows are a of a blue um, color I'm just looking to create a little bit more um, variation between the the foreground and the and the background by putting a, a little bit of this shadow down the left hand side of the river we've created a, a kind of a bank and I'm dropping a little bit on the right hand side as well we can just test out how dark this is going to go on on the back of these um, these rocks here try a few of these uh, smaller smaller rocky areas on uh, on this this beach front now using a thin brush we're using the uh, the thin pastel brush we can actually draw in some detail with the uh, shadow map I'm just knocking back the uh, the bright values of some of these areas add in some pockets of shadow and texture Now I'm starting to draw on these um, these rock faces here. A shadow map tends to work like a marker, so you are going to be able to preserve the the values underneath, and it's it's like a a wash. So all the values stay relative to each other. drop a bit more of the shadow in the background there
this might be too dark for the background mm, no that's okay okay we can use that so we're just going over the the background now um, changing some of the uh, the values of of these uh, the cracks in the in the side of this this mountain side adding some shadow areas and again some more texture just breaking up some of these uh, big shapes and our lights of course was coming from the left hand side so a lot of our shadows are going to be on the right side of this map okay. keep working across the whole of the painting um, with the shadow map change the value a little bit change the value down there introducing a bit more contrast okay so now we're ready to go in with some highlights so I'm going to uh, color pick the, the green and then I'm going to boost the color So this is a warmer green that we've got selected because this is where the uh, the sun is um, hitting the side of this uh, this rock face here. And this is going to give us our highlights. add small areas here and there we we don't want to block this in 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 huge huge great big blocks of color straight away you just want to drop in small small little areas variations in um, size and shape will will help to uh, keep this looking um, fairly random boost the color a little bit more Um, this is going to be one of the brightest areas of the painting because we've got the high contrast from this rock face in the foreground dropping in some small areas of light just just here and there we'll have some uh, spots of um, sunlight hitting the, the sides of rocks or the, the grass remembering to leave some of the uh, some of the rocks that we we left on the first color pass and the 
background I've gone back to a blue green but we've increased the, the value Now I'm going to drop the river onto the onto the main layer, and we're going to start to blend the uh, the river into these um, sandbanks. So I'll zoom in a little bit, pick the grabber. Um, pull that across um, first of all I'm just going to do some variations on um, on the actual river and where it's where it's flowing through the landscape I want to add uh, a few more a few more rivers that are breaking away from this this main piece so we can color pick and then just add some uh, some extra pieces in here and there a few more in the background Break up some of these edges if they are appearing to be too narrow. You can leave some of those original darker areas and they'll just turn into rocks that are sitting within the river. more detail on these banks uh, a little bit of variation on the texture of the water as well now this is starting to sit within the painting uh, a bit better than it did break up these uh, shapes down here we'll zoom out and see what we've got okay so that that looks much better than it did now I'm selecting the glow brush again I'm just going to add some uh, highlights to the atmosphere, try to create some more distance, um, give the feel that the uh, this, this light hitting these um, these faces from from the left hand side. Very gently does it with the glow brush. Um, if if you press too hard on it, it's it's going to just completely blow the color out. So very gently just build this this layer up. Try and create atmosphere and some edges to these uh, mountains in the background. I can probably speed this up a little bit as well just so you can see it. Okay, now I'm going to scale the glow brush down and we're going to add some more highlights to the sides of these, um, these rocks, these mountains. You can see the, uh, the green starts to increase with uh, value as you go over it with the, uh, with the glow brush. 
And again, you, you don't want to overdo this. It's a very similar brush to uh, Color Dodge, um, which is quite common in uh, a lot of uh, digital softwares. And that's it for this session. So the last video will be detailing.